Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $101,761.64. In the past year, I am up $24,039.62. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $10,839.54. Today was a green day for me. I was up $1,385.94 during the day. After hours, I am up $2.99. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $9. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $5.01. I'm selling PayPal $60 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $456. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $360. I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return $145. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, $78. I'm selling Google $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $670. I have McDonald's $210, $200, Put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $560. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $230. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $353. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $50. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $181.45. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $24,753.73. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.43. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,000. $840.80 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $93.80 My average cost $60 My total return $10,140 I have 100 shares of Google Google is at $170.75 my average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,827. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $63.96. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $1,252. This is a margin account. My margin total is $89,141.18. My margin used is 
$50,517.38. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $5,723.80 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $31,000. $529.89. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.01. And I'm getting $1,000 interest free. So, a green day for me. I'm happy about that. Steadily recovering, but, you know, this is after I lost a whole bunch of money. So it kind of evens out, but at least I'm back around 100K and above again, so that's good. Something to note here, I believe PayPal reported today. PayPal was up 8.57% during the day, so I guess people were happy about the earnings. If we go down here, so the estimated was 89 cents per share. The actual was $1.19 per share. So they beat the expectations. Here's an article on Yahoo Finance. The article says PayPal shares climb on quarter two earnings, upbeat outlook. PayPal is drawing investor attention after reporting second quarter earnings that beat expectations on both revenue and profit. The company reported revenue of $7.89 billion surpassing estimates of $7.82 billion. Adjusted earnings per share also beat projections, coming in at $1.19 compared to analyst estimates of $1. Additionally, the payment platform company raised its full-year profit outlook, sending shares higher in Tuesday's trading session. So yeah, they beat, they beat the estimates for both revenue and profit. So that's why a lot of people are buying up PayPal shares today. And that's good for my portfolio in a way. I did make some money, but again, and this has been happening quite a few times recently, for my covered calls, I picked a strike price of only $60 and PayPal went above $60. It's at $63.96. So I missed out on some money. So if I had picked a strike price of say $65 instead, then I wouldn't have missed out on money, but since I picked a strike price that's below the current share price, I missed out on some money due to my covered calls. Another company that reported today was SoFi. If we go to SoFi and we scroll down. Yes, yeah, so the estimated was one cent per share and the actual was one cent per share. I believe there's an article we can read. Here's an article from TipRanks. It says, SoFi earnings. SoFi reports better than expected results. Shares of SoFi Technologies fell in trading despite the online personal finance company reporting better than expected Q2 results. The company swung to a profit in the second quarter with earnings of one cent per share compared to a loss of six cents per share in the same period last year. Analysts had expected the company to break even in the second quarter. Total net revenues increased by 20% year over year, reaching $598.6 million, which beat analyst expectations of $565.5 million. SoFi added 643,000 new members to its platform in the second quarter, bringing the total number of members to nearly 8.8 .8 million by the end of the quarter, a 41% increase year over year. Dang, that's <laughs> a 41% increase in members? That's really good news. SoFi CEO comments, Anthony Nodo, CEO of SoFi Technologies, commented, our financial services and tech platform segments now make up a record 45% of SoFi's adjusted net revenue, up from 38% a year ago and 32% two years ago. Nodo added that in Q2, these businesses grew revenue by a combined 46% year over year, given our clear structural advantages and leading value proposition in financial services. SoFi's Q3 and fiscal year 2024 outlook. Looking forward, management now expects to deliver adjusted revenue in the range of $625 million 
to $645 million, with earnings of $0.04 cents per share. In 2024, SoFi has projected adjusted net revenues in the range of $2.43 billion to $2.46 billion, higher than its prior guidance between $2.39 billion and $2.43 billion. Earnings are projected to come in between $0.09 cents and $0.10 cents per share in fiscal year 2024. For reference, analysts had anticipated earnings of $0.08 cents per share on revenues of $2.42 billion. This was the second time SoFi has raised its forecast this year. Wow, so lots of good news coming from this earnings report. And in this section, it says, what is a fair price for SoFi stock? It looks like a fair price is $8.15, according to them. Now, right now, SoFi is below that. It's at $7.45. I also read another article that said that SoFi stock should be flying right now based on all the positive news that came out from its earnings report. So, yeah, only 1.30% up today. I expected more based on all the good news that came out today, but we'll see what happens in the future. This boosts my confidence in SoFi, honestly, and I think I might even buy more shares if we see a dip, but we'll see. All right, that's all I have to report for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.